Hi, this is Ronald, one of the developers for WP Plugin Info Card. And some of you have been asking, what does this plugin do and how does it work? So I'm going to show you through a tutorial today how to uh, make it work. And let's go to um, my localhost where I have it installed. And just take a second. And it's just my short password I use for localhost. I don't use it on my real sites. So let's go back to WP info card while it loads. And you can see that it creates layouts for your plugins and scenes that are hosted on the wordpress.org repositories. And sorry about my cats, you can hear them in the background. So here are the short code parameters. You have type, which is a plugin or a theme. You have the slug and you have the layout. And those are the three most important parts. And then you also have scheme, image, align, container ID, margin, clear, expiration, Ajax, and custom. So let's go ahead and choose one of these short codes from WP Plugin Info Core documentation. And it's going to be aligned right. Oops. And I'm just going to create a brand new page. I'm going to use a standard editor and then I'm going to paste in the short code and Gutenberg knows that it's a short code so I'm just going to hit uh, publish and you should see a type of seam, there of light, align right, expiration 60 seconds, loading Ajax, yes. some reason it decided it wanted to be a code block instead of a, uh, a short code block. So let's try this again. There we go, short code. Update. View page. And then you see that's aligned right here. So let's go ahead and say you have a plugin or a theme list that you're building and you want to include it in WP plugin info card. So I'm going to go to one of my plugins. Let's pick on social menu icons. Now anything after this plugins directory is a slug for the plugin. And likewise, when you go to uh, WordPress, I can't spell WordPress, right? Uh, themes. Let's say blog slog. I like that name. Anything after seams is going to be the slug. So let's go ahead and build a short code manually. And so I'm going to go back into Gutenberg short code, write the short code here. And the format for the short code is WP PIC type equals seam slug equals, and then I copied the uh, blog slog. Let's do a line equals center. And then that's all we want to do for now. So let's go ahead and update that. And view the page. And then now I have a blog slog uh, theme page, which kind of looks like this. And then you click on more info, you can see a theme preview, and it goes to the uh, wp themes directory. You can go to the theme page, or you can go back, see how many downloads it has, what version it is, how many star ratings it has, and who the author is. Now let's go back and change the layout to something larger. And from the documentation, the layout could be um, card, large, or WordPress. And there's also a flex layout too. So let's do uh, layout equals large. And let's go ahead and get rid of this other short code here. Yep. 
view page. And then you see a large layout with the blog slog. And there's also a flex layout which shows kind of a larger picture of it. Um, flex. And it's a much larger layout, shows the seam in a nice little centered format here. So let me show you how to do a plugin, for example, the social menu icon. So I'm just going to copy the slug right here. Let's go ahead and duplicate this block. And instead of a type equals seam, it's going to be plugin. And the slug is going to be my social menu icons. Line field center, layout equals flex, view page. And you can see my social menu icons banner here, current version 1.0, test it up to 5.2.2, also on Harika. And then you can download it. Now, say you don't like short codes and short codes are just not for you. Oh, well, I agree with you there. Uh, short codes were kind of a mess. That's why we have two Gutenberg blocks that'll help you. Um, if you go to, uh, let's see here, I think they're under common blocks. There's WP plugin info card and WP plugin info card query. So let's go to WP plugin info card. You select the type plugin or seam. You enter a slug, which I have social menu icons. You choose the layout. And let's do a WordPress layout and click go. And I'll give you a live preview. And on the right, you can see that you can change the color scheme. You can change the layout to large card or flex. Um, you can upload a image. You can change the container ID. You can give it a margin. You can clear before or after. Um, the expiration in minutes is zero, so say for example you want it to be cached for about 10 minutes, you can say I want it to be set for 10 minutes. And load card in via Ajax, yes or no. When you load a card in via Ajax, um, it'll, it won't show right away, it'll just load behind the scenes and then come in to play. So let's go ahead and look at this on the front end. Okay, and then we give you a live preview here of what it looks like. So if you change the uh, layout to say card, for example, and the schemes work of card, um, you want to change it to say a magenta, or you want to change it to a dark theme, or any of the other 12 schemes that we have, for example, um, you could do that. If you want to upload an image, you can change the image here to something else. Um, if you want to do a flex layout, which is a large, large layout, um, you can do that. And then you can update it, view it, and then you have a very, very large plugin info card that will pull up the entire width of the container that it's in. And if there's no banner image, then it falls back to just a kind of like a grayish background image for the plugin. So let's do uh, one more test here, which is the uh, query uh, block. So let's get rid of this. And then I'm just going to do a shortcut uh, slash and then WP plugin info card query. And what you can do is you can select a type, a plugin or a theme. And you could just search for, let's just say highlight. And then go down here, click go. And it's looking up plugins that have highlight in them. There we go. And then let's left align it. It kind of extends past the Gutenberg block, but that's just a bug in Gutenberg at the moment. Um, you can go ahead and edit that and reset it to show only, uh, let's say, six per page. And two columns is good. 
So it shows only six. And then when we update the post and view it, you see a two column layout for uh, the search you just did. So there's so many possibilities you can do with the query uh, short code uh, and the query block, I'm sure. Um, you just you can say say I want to see the favorites from this username, so I'm going to choose my username from .org, and then hit go, and you'll see six of my favorites from WordPress.org: advanced custom fields, excerpts, breadcrumb nav xt, conditional widgets, easy updates manager, which is one of my favorites. So that's the plugin info query, and let me just show you the plugin info block again. Um, so let's just select a theme that we know exists, uh, 2013, and let's do a flex layout, and there we go, 2013, update it, and then if we want to display a different one, we can duplicate this block, and then edit it. And do the next one, 2014. And there we go, update it and then view the post. So we got 2013, and then right below it is 2014. And then you can use the plugin to display your own themes that you've created, your own plugins that you've created, other people's plugins. If you're creating a plugin list or a theme list, you can use this plugin for that as well. So, and then you can also customize the layout, which I show in a different uh, plugin uh, video. But that's essentially what this plugin does. It takes themes from the themes directory and displays them on your site. And then it takes plugins from the plugins directory and displays them on your site as well using either a card layout, a large layout, WordPress layout, or even a, what I'm using right now is a uh, Coda Flex layout, which is a really large um, kind of in-your-face layout. So that's what Plugin Info Card does in a nutshell. Um, if you're looking for custom card functionality, that's not what this plugin does. It just displays uh, plugins and themes from WordPress.org. Thank you so much for watching.